for joining us. Welcome to our live nomination show. Imagine how they're feeling in the house. Like ten little Indians. <laughs> well, they might. Ten green bottles. I think they might feel like a dozen eggs that have already lost two Humpty Dumpties. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, Katrina will be here. Yeah, recently yeah. evicted. She will be here to guide us through the nominations. We will have Todd, former housemate now. <laughs> Roving reporter. He will be joining us and you must, must, must concentrate because we will be seeing a package from the intruders. That sounds a bit rude, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we'll be seeing a package from the intruders and that will help you decide which ones you want to vote into the house. All right, it's time to cross to our very special guests over in the house. Let's see our housemates. Hello. Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were ignoring us. How are you all? Yeah. Yeah. We're lovely. Have you had enough? I was thinking today you must feel like popcorn. Just bang, one goes off. Bang, another one's going. Now we're nominating. Now there's an eviction. Yes. It's creating childhood it... traumas for us. It is. <laughs> well, it's relentless. Yeah. It is. It's scary. One thing after the other. It's yeah. a kick in the guts every like week. Days. It affects us big time. Yeah, it's horrible. Well, your hair seems to have responded in an exciting <laughs> way. <laughs> I know. I can hardly breathe. <laughs> I was thinking, who gave her those two puppies that she's wearing on her ears? But there you go. Same Nathan. <laughs> Shannon. Now, Shannon can see Alex, that. how did you cope with last night? Too easy, Gretel. Too easy. Too much fun. Oh, oh, we'll try and give you a bigger challenge. And to Khan, you're still talking about wanting to leave the house. How do you know? <laughs> Hey, too no. Mad about it. I'm just too no. vocal about it. Yes, well, we are listening and watching. Did anyone tell you that? I think you guys edit that beer. All right, all right. Well, we love watching you, so, you know, there you go. I was wondering if you'd nominate yourself, but you're not allowed to do that. There are a lot of rules here, and you're not allowed to nominate yourself. Okay, thank you. We'll be joining you a little bit later. Bye-bye. All right, we have our latest evictee here with us tonight. She was described as a thrower of hissy fits, intimidating to men, and a spunk. But who is the real Katrina? Here she is to tell us. Will you welcome her? I just threw that bit in about you being described as a spunk. He's pretty keen oh. on you. <laughs> What's the response <laughs> been like? 24 hours since you were in the house. Yeah, um, well, I haven't actually got a chance to see myself yet, except for a little snippet just before. But um, I'm reading the literature and it's not that nice, is it? Like, there's lots of, you know, Katrina's, you know, tantrum thrower, the tantrum thrower and being really sooky. And I'm just like, where is this coming from? Like, I wasn't like that all the time, I swear. <laughs> So was that upsetting you reading that? Well, no, I just find it hilarious because I just feel like I've, I was voted out on someone who's not me, so it's not a big deal. You, know? you don't think that you were being a... You did cry a little bit? I did cry a little bit. Just but little then you bit. changed so much in the second yeah, week. Yeah, like, yeah, I like, I, I changed from week to week. Each week was different, like, really different for me. And I felt I was getting better and better. And, um, but I just thought it was time for me to go this time. Well, you it see, was. all the press... It, I, it just felt so right. Did it? Yeah. Well, you should learn not to read press. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't get upset about it. Yeah. Or write your own. That's always a good remedy. Well, I could try that. <laughs> now, of course, nomination night is always scary in the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think will be nominated tonight? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I thought, um, Azar, just because he's been getting on some people's nerves, maybe only mine, but I thought he might be. <laughs> um, I think they're going to give Turks a week off, maybe, and instead go with Mirabai, because she's always having the vegetarian food, but not helping with the cooking. Mm -hmm. And... Um, the third person was Jess because she was not looming. I think people are paying attention to that. Do you think you might have paid more attention to the looming than other people? <laughs> Just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. We'll stay tuned, see what happens. Now, back to the house, because they say you can't have two bulls in a paddock. Well, a couple of weeks ago, the Big Brother house looked like it had 12 of them. <laughs> but now we can see the emergence of two alpha males. Aaron and Nathan, both with very different styles. Is it inevitable that they'll come into conflict? As Jess would say, they're just not on the same frequency. <laughs> come on, come on. She said to me, there's a struggle between you and Nathan for like 
you know, muscle of the house. Oh, this is killing me because I wanted to punch someone. Nathan started laughing about it. I said, it's not a oh, laughing matter. I said, don't laugh, it's not a laughing matter. Concern. This is someone's concern. You have no right to sit here and laugh and make a joke of it. And he was like... As he's yeah. rolling his eyes and he's getting angry lately. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love yeah. He said that too, he's oh, getting angry. Yeah, I love he that He goes, goes I'm about to snap. I want to get away from you. Nathan. I said to Azza, like, you know, don't go snapping at anyone. Nathan's the best that he can get on anyone's level. But he takes it too far sometimes. Sometimes he does, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I'm saying I He has it with me. No. And if he does, he'll know. Horns and face the public. Well, Aaron and Nathan are about to vote. So let's cross to the house. So this is Big Brother. Aaron to the diary room. Aaron. Hello. Aaron, who do you nominate for two points and why? Uh, two points. Um, this week goes to Jessica, and uh, that's just purely her um, participation with Marty and just the once off thing for this. Um, and also, I just don't think she put in the effort when we were looming. She was like carrying around a bit when I know that Mirabai and, um, and Katrina stayed up all night and put in a huge effort and credit goes to those girls for that. Um, and that's the reason for that. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, one point goes to Nathan and it's purely, I just think sometimes he likes to um, control the opinion of the group rather than listen to other people's opinions. He doesn't he thinks that, you know, our meetings on Wednesday nights are a bad thing, yet it's a forum for people to, um, people that are quiet to view their opinions in an anonymous manner, which sometimes, you know, people might be, you know, think about that as a, an issue for nominations or something like that, you know. So, and that's the reason for one point. Thank you. Thank you. Nathan. Hi. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Okay, um, I nominate Turkan once more. Um, still the same reason, I just haven't really got to know Turkan as well as everyone else and I sort of feel I betray everyone that I know quite well if I go for someone else, so Turkan. And who do you nominate for one point? Oh, this is the most hardest thing. Um, I've been, I haven't even made a decision. I. I will nominate. Um, I will nominate Mirabai, not for any bad reason at all, because I absolutely love her. Just that I don't really know Mirabai as well as what I know the other housemates. You can't nominate somebody because you love them. Well, I do really love them, so I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not. None, I, I don't see the nominations as being a bad thing. It's just the fact of I don't know this person as well as what I know the other people, and I feel like I'd be cheating the other people if I was to nominate them. That's acceptable, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that is the first nomination for Nathan, isn't it? It is, yeah, I only heard that today. Obviously, I had no idea in the house who was nominating who or whatever. But... Yeah, so that's his first one, and he didn't nominate Aaron. No, he didn't. Like, I don't think he f sees the struggle as much as Ar Aaron does. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now, did you were saying... Well, you were using different language, but you said that they were rather paltry excuses. They were. Like, <laughs> I, I've heard Nathan say that Mirabai, like, has the special dietary requirements, but doesn't help cook. And I've heard him say that, and that would be such a good excuse. And yet he doesn't use it. And it's hard to sometimes say the excuses, because you know that if they come out, they're going to hear it. And you want it to be as positive as possible. Oh, so, so that actually dictates it because we... That can dictate it, yeah. And especially the first week, we had the TV screen. We had no idea. We thought we could have been watching each other nominating us. We had absolutely no idea. So, 
you know, you try and sugarcoat it as much as possible when you do it. Well, with our exciting technology, you could have ended up watching yourself yeah. nominate each other. <laughs> okay, now two housemates have voted, and if that plot got any thicker in there, I'd think it would forget its own name. So, more intrigue after the break. <laughs> My decisions from, to, right, from today would be for qu people's qualities. Well, from last night it was. And that's why I said Emily, Emily will be proud of what I said last night. Well, it's good that Emily may have been proud, but Big Brother's blood was boiling. That little chat last week landed our naked chef in a vat of Big Brother's hot water. But is Aaron's mouth also getting him offside with the rest of the house? If you let have coffee, you should f***ing rinse their cups out, man, you know what I mean? Maybe it's your last week. Well, you don't want to leave without saying... Oh, oh, it won't be my last week. Yeah, but you never know. Katrina's hissy fit was dismal. I'm sick of people not listening, mate. People are going to ask a ten times in here. It's I think right. Australia has their new bully. <laughs> Australia, meet the bully. <laughs> the bully made a spell. Will the man of iron become a nomination magnet? Four housemates are standing by to vote. Let's go to the house. This is Big Brother. Sarah to the diary room. Sarah, who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, look, it's really getting really hard now. But I'm going to have to give the two to Takan purely because Takan keeps saying that she's ready to go and, you know, her time's up. And but this is not about you granting her wishes. No, no, but there's a lot of people here that uh, are really determined to stay and are looking forward to staying here. So, um, yeah, I'd have to give two to Takan for that. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one, this is really going to kill me, but I'm going to have to give it to uh, Aaron um, because I, I feel that Aaron's very argumentative at times. Um, when they, I don't think there needs to be discussions like with arguments and that. And um, yeah, that he should just like kind of chill out a little bit more. But like, I mean, it's really hard because I get along with everyone here now and especially Aaron but that's just something that got to me thank you thank you <coughs> Marty who do you nominate for two points and why um, I nominate Tara Khan. Um, she just seems to be taking things a little bit too far lately. What's she taking too far? Oh, just the usual mucking around, pushing shoves, and she just seems to keep going, that, yeah. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I nominate um, Aaron. I think he's just starting to get a bit too frustrated with people, certain people, and um, he's just sort of seeing that people are starting to get to him a bit. That sounds like you're nominating for his benefit, not yours. No, oh, well, see, frustration can be let out in, I guess, anger and putting too much pressure on other people, I think. OK, thank you. and why? Um, Alright, uh, I don't know any other way to do it other than how I feel in terms of um, personal connection, like serious, serious personal connection, so um, even though she's so much fun and I love her, Jess, um, and... I'm sorry, I don't quite understand your point. Um, well, okay, I just, I still don't feel a real connection with her. 
I don't think. Um, and who do you nominate for one point and why? Alex, for the same reason. Is that okay? I'd so ask you next week to come to me with a rather better um, rationale than you could come to this week. Uh, but for this week, that's acceptable. Thank you. Thanks. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, interesting week. This week, two votes go to um, Jess. Um, she's probably the one I have least in common with. Um, she's on a totally different wavelength, wavelength to me. That's not a bad thing, but uh, she gets two. Get out. Who do you nominate for one point and why? One point this week I give to um, Shannon. Uh, very boisterous, very loud. Uh, probably takes away a bit of a tension away from some of the other housemates. Are you doing it on behalf of the other housemates or are you uh, doing it on behalf of yourself? That's what uh, my, I'm doing on behalf of myself and that's what I don't like, people who steal too much of a tension away from others. Thank you. If you were in the house this okay, week. Okay, this week I would have nominated Jess for two points because she was talking and not looming. That really got... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's like, it really did get to me after It does sound like a bumper sticker and though. <laughs> Quit talking, start looming. <laughs> it would be a great bumper sticker, it really would. And it would have been one point for Marty because his Girls who, with Opinions Not Cool song was just getting on my nerves. I just needed to think that that's just not a cool way to be. Just Marty think has that a song? Girls Marty with has opinions a, not cool. The song goes like, girls with legs cool, girls with hair, cool, girls with opinions, not cool. And it was funny the second... <laughs> it's funny the first and second time, but after that, it just gets on your nerves and you feel like it's a personal thing because everyone said I was opinionated, so... So you felt that Marty had written this song, especially <laughs> about you? No, I don't think it was especially about me, but that was, I think it was more of his attitude to life and it just didn't gel with me. But this is a particular issue with you, isn't it? The people judging you as being outspoken as a female. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I read something today that my crimes for like why people nominated me was one for being outspoken and the other for being too reserved. So people didn't know whether I was coming or going. They couldn't make up their minds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Different personalities. No, I was just, just thinking. I was just thinking, I don't know whether you're coming or going. But <laughs> yeah, <Who knows? laughs> uh, All right. So we, the only people who've been consistent with their votes, I think, are Mirabai and Nathan. Does that sound... Well, you don't know? I don't know. I'll oh, ask no, home. Do you think that's true? Yes, of course. You agree because I've written them all down here. <laughs> now, what do you think over here? What do you think about those nominations? Um, well, I think Aaron's going to leave, so it seems like he might be nominated this time. Do you I think th it's too bossy. Do you think Jess would be particularly hard to live with? No, I think she's entertaining. <laughs> 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 Do you? What about you? I'm going to agree with Katrina and say Jess has to go. <laughs> Why does Jess have to go? Are you into Just looming? No, as I'm well? into looming. That's right. <laughs> it's a looming thing. Is this the whole thing that has struck the nation and bypassed me? No, no. There's also a little bit. She always goes. Oh, I'm so sorry, and oh, well done. And you just, you, after a while, it just seems so stale that it's not real, and you feel like she's putting on an act. Do you think this is the feminist within you striking against some other woman? Possib but possibly, but I also know she's drinking coffee, coffee to be up for the housemates, so I don't think she's being herself. That's a lot of coffee. So you, you think that she's manipulating her own personality? Well, I think so. Well, it only takes me cups of, two cups of coffee to stay up for 30, like, overnight, so I'm yeah, sure if she has one, it does bring her up. You Definitely can't judge up. everyone else by yourself. You I know can't that, Katrina. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go for a coffee uh, right now. One more, <laughs> row, one more voting round to go. I do need a coffee. I can't talk. <laughs> Jess to come, Peter and Shannon are standing by, and it will only take a couple of votes to reshuffle the nomination deck. We'll be back after the break for the final deal. <laughs> Sarah and Jess both nominated Turkan for one point. 
suggesting she was too opinionated and strong-willed for their liking. But being strong-willed meant, of course, that Turkan wasn't about to go changing. I thought those other people were that's a prime example of what I've just said before. Listen to what I've articulated. Yeah. You go be four yeah. or a couple of years. It's it's not not a quick fix. Life. No way. You don't go in there and get an insight into someone's life in two bloody weeks. No. But you're going to have an understanding. No, that's right. That's right. Yes, There's no way in hell you can say to someone, yeah. I know what you're going through. Mm. Right. You can't use those words because it's wrong. It's just, you just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol only extends on what you already have inside you. And if people say anything otherwise, they can stick it up there, sorry little comment. The other thing to remember is that Jess gave her two points to Katrina last week. So with the cat away, I wonder which way Jess will play. Will those two points go to Turkan? Time to cross to the house for the last round of nominations. This is Big Brother, Jessica, to the diary room. Jessica? Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? I nominate two points to Turkan, firstly, just because I haven't got to get to know her as well as I have the other housemates. And one point I'm going to give to Alex, almost for the same reason, but I just feel that I know a lot of the other housemates and I've really got to love them a lot and I haven't got to know Alex just as much as them. Thank you. Thank you. Tekan. Yep. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Uh, I nominate Jessica for two points. I have been in this house for almost th four weeks um, and I'm still clueless on to what she, who she is. Um, I've made a lot of attempts and I feel like she's not really trying to communicate on an equal basis with everyone. And who do you nominate for one point and why? I nominate Nathan for one point. Uh, as much as I love him to death and he's the light in this house, um, sometimes he can be very patronising with some Wish of the things he light. says. And yeah, he can just rub off on people the wrong way. Thank you. Thank you. Peter. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points and why? Uh, two points I nominate Turkin because I think that she really wants to leave and I don't know how long she'll be able to handle it here. But Peter, this is about you, not about her, you granting her wishes. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm very close to Turkin and Annie, and she's a, she's a good friend of mine, so feelings that she have kind of come off onto me, if you can understand. Yes, it seems surprising. That's, that's what I, that's what I feel. Thank you. Uh, who do you nominate for one point and why? My one point goes to Jess. Um, I don't think she takes uh, the tasks quite serious enough. Um, and can jeopardise how we all feel in the house when we don't have any food or luxuries for a week. Okay, thank you. Okay. Shannon, who do you nominate for two points and why? 
Two points this week, I'm going to nominate Tu Khan. Um, I'm found in the last 48 hours, I've just been a little bit frustrated with little things like the batteries or the microphones. Um, and I feel I don't feel as confident with her as a team with activities. Is that all? Okay, who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, one point I'm going to, um, going to nominate Jessica or Jess this week. And that's a hard thing for me to do because I really adore her. Um, I just find that living with someone 24-7 and the rest and her exuberance is just OTT in everything. Even when I'm trying to sometimes have a conversation, she's in this character mode and it's the tone of her voice sometimes makes it really hard to get through. Um, and sometimes I wish just even a little bit she'd just calm down and sit and talk as a woman or as an adult. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Shannon. What about that great piece of Australian oh, drama? I know. Peter chopping off a limb by nominating Turkan. If you love someone, set them free. This is profound. This is Australian Shakespeare at its best. I am so excited. Of course, it's never happened to me and never bloody likely to, but anyway, over here. What are your opinions? Well, I don't know. Um, I honestly... I thought Peter would get a lot more nominations because he's so moody around the house and yeah, I just can't understand why he hasn't had as many nominations as what he's got, basically. Right, so you're disappointed. Okay, <laughs> I'd like to see Aaron go. I think that he's just trying to dominate the house and I, not Jess, she's going to be good for the uncut show. What? <laughs> difficult to get to know Jessica? It really is. It's, it, when they're talking about, I don't know this person, especially like, you, I deliberately went up to people and tried to get to know them and then it was never reciprocated. So when people are using it as an excuse, I think they're pretty lame yeah, because but, they're not trying to get to know people. And you try, but the thing is you do try and get to know Jess and yeah, it just, then she, you talk to her for maybe 20 minutes and then she goes back into her getting dressed up and party and singing mode. So, yeah, but maybe see little glimpses, <laughs> tiny little glimpses. But maybe that is Jess. Maybe that is. I, I have heard that she was like that on the outside, but it can be a little bit much. Can it? Yeah, it well, can be. Well, so far your predictions are proving to be accurate. Except for, oh, Mira got one vote, so not too bad. Yep, you're on the ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Peter's already spoken about spiritual coincidences, but does he have a special cosmic connection that we don't know about? Because each week so far, or two weeks of it, the people he nominated for two points have been evicted. Is he psychic? I think Shannon's more of the psychic one. Is she? Yeah. And Turks pretended she, Turks tried to be because she held my rock before when we were sitting on the couch to see if I was leaving or not. <laughs> and like the first time she said, you're not leaving and I didn't. So I thought, oh yeah, she's got a connection. This time she goes, you're not leaving and I did. So they've broken. <laughs> If you want to have an, spiritual ones. Yeah, the explanation of she held my rock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's your good luck rock. Yeah, it is the good luck rock. Right, just to clear that up for those at home <laughs> wanting to catch up with it on the uncut show yet again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Waiting now for the official tally of those votes. We'll cross back to the house and break the bad news later in the show. After the break, a special presentation for Katrina mm. and we announce when you will get to vote our intruders into the Big Brother house. So, welcome back. I've got our second evictee, Katrina, sitting here with me. Now, Katrina, you're so composed. Why is that? Um, I don't have the stresses of the house. I've been able to be around my family and friends, people who understand. And I don't, yeah, it's just... 
I feel free to be myself. I'm not surrounded by all these out there characters, you know. I can just be me and it's so refreshing. It's one of the interesting things when people apply to go into the house. They'll mm. often talk about, I'm, I'm so confident, I'm so loud. And amongst your own group of friends, that can well be the case. Mm. But if you get 12 confident, loud people in a house, yeah. is that overwhelming? It is so overwhelming. But I actually went in saying, I will be reserved to start with and I'll suss everyone out and then I'll move my way into the group, which is exactly what happened. Well, let's so have I a... was right, yeah. You're always right. Let's yes. have a look <laughs> at what you said before you went into the okay. house. Okay. Okay. I'm really hoping not to be nominated in the first week, but I hope that I'll be able to take it as gracefully as I can. And um, everyone gets nominated once, so it's going to happen. Now, do you think you took it gracefully the first week? Um... No. <laughs> I didn't take it either of them very gracefully because they really, really hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. It's hard to be in a house when you're just walking around going, people don't want me here. And you don't know if it's like three people or everyone nominated you. You just have no idea. And when people are saying, oh, my excuse wasn't good enough, you feel like saying, well, make an excuse about someone else. And you must feel so tempted once you're nominated to go up to people and say, why did you nominate me? What have I you done wrong? You seriously can't. There were some problems with people turning around saying, well, I can guarantee I didn't nominate you. And I just went, whoa, we're in big trouble now. Big, big brother's going to be out to get us. <laughs> when you saw the people who nominated you last week, were you yep. surprised? Um, I, I don't know who nominated me the first week. But this week, um, the only surprise was Peter. But... I didn't actually hear the reason last night, too much feedback and stuff, but yep. I'll get to it eventually, but it's, it's not a big deal. Like, every, they have to nominate someone, and I really did stick out in the house. So, you're happy that you weren't evicted in the first week? Yes, because very happy. It was an incomplete journey for you, it wasn't really it? It really was, yeah. And yeah. now you feel much better, and now, so of course, much better. you've come out of the house and people know who you are. Yeah. Do you like that? I love it, and it's, it's so amazing. Like, I know a lot of people went in the house because they wanted to be famous, and so weren't concerned about being in the house. But I loved being in the house. I was there for the house. And so all of this stuff is just extra added on top. And it's so much fun. And, you know, everyone wants to talk to you and have their photo taken with you. And it's just, it's just mad. Really enjoy it. You didn't want to be famous? Um, didn't go in there to be famous. If you but, um, accidentally become famous, is that all right? Well, I think I already am a little bit. But um, I don't think it's going to last. It's, well, not, it's, it's like a fleeting fame. Well, of course. So enjoy it while you can. More famous, perhaps, than even you, is your dead goldfish. Yes. Now, that's a sad incident. But interestingly enough, many people on the web thought mm. that it was some sort of code. That you coming out of the house saying that your goldfish was dead was, in fact, your way of receiving a secret message. Did you have any codes organised before None you went into the house? whatsoever. Like, I know Azza, like, if he touched his hair, he was saying hello to Emily or something, but I had none whatsoever. <laughs> um, What's so, that? Say it again. If Azza touched his hair, he was saying hello to Emily. Like, that was his little thing. With... And what about if he scratches his bum? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I just knew the touch of the hair was a message. But I, had, I, didn't, I didn't plan anything. I was a little bit, you know, not organised. But it was such a good message. But I love the conspiracy theory. I I think it's mad. I like gratuities to whoever brought it, brought it up. Like, I think it's really great. Well, you know what we're going to bring up for you? A very special Big Brother gift. Andre Leonard. Leonard has... <gasps> not the... Oh. <laughs> yes. This is your new goldfish. Oh, George. Would you like to name it? George. George? Love well, the big... name George. <laughs> well, the Georges around the world are going... No, 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 George, like in Bugs Bunny, when, like, you've got the abominable snowman who wants a little pet bunny racket to hug him and squeeze him and call him George. Like, it's such a cute little... <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Now, your legacy item. Yes. Now, we, people can uh, bid for that. As we know, the money goes to charity, and the charity is... Here for Life. Here for Life. Can you hold up your legacy yes, item I again? Yes, I can. Stuck behind the goldfish. All right. Now, that has already got 1,325. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We know Joe Page. You have the artist right here. There he is, the artist. You need a bear age up. Okay. <laughs> and Damo's guitar is past five thousand oh dollars. So God. that's fantastic. Oh. And over here are the sweltering people underneath the world's heaviest rug. Yes. And this can be won. So if you want to go to our website, check that out because you will work out how to win that rug. Can I try and win it? Yes, you can. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, now it is time to learn how you can play Big Brother. Now, we all know our six intruders have been locked away in a secret hideout. Well, the time is coming to vote them in.
Now I'll tell you more in a minute because this is where it gets interesting. By now you've got a good handle on the different personalities and relationships in the house. Our intruders are all quite distinctive characters as well. So your challenge is to work out which ones might change the house the way you want it changed. Will you send in a lover, a joker, a leader or even a troublemaker? Now to get you thinking, we ask the Secret Six to state their case and tell you what they do in the house. I think it's going to make for quite a good intrusion, actually. I think we're going to really uh, liven up the party. If, if I sensed someone was there and, and didn't want to interact on a friendship level and just wanted to interact on like, the business side of it, then I'd, um, I'd ask them straight away, pull their plug. It's like if someone came into our little group of six now, um, it would be like a bit of a, you know, a bit of a shock at first, but now I, I have got a little bit of confidence back that I can get into a group of people, a group of strangers that I don't know, and just fit in. I think I can pretty much deal with most situations. Um, yeah, I'm quite a strong girly. I think they'll be glad to see a fresh face and I think I'll settle in fine. I mean, there's a, obviously going to be a little bit of tension there because it's like competition for them, I guess. It'll be a, a change, and I, I, I think I adapt pretty well to change. I'm not a competitive person, and if they want to win the race, I'll just, you know, I'll let them, but I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be all about who you are and being yourself. Uh, I think it could be really, really cool, um, just to shake things up a bit. Um, <laughs> it'd be heaps of fun trying to, I don't know, trying to break in, I guess. Hopefully there are some spunky boys in there. <laughs> Getting in there and sort of, you know, meshing straight away w would be difficult, so I kind of plan on annoying them. I think that would be the best approach. So, you know, you just bitch about certain people to certain people, and eventually everyone either likes you or they hate you. Uh, and if they hate me, oh well. That's OK. If they are like me, well, that would be better. Are the people in the house expecting intruders? There has been discussion about intruders, but I, there, I actually did hear a rumour about there was being six people locked away on a desert island voting each other off till there was two and then being put in the house. So I'd heard that, I did mention in the house, and we just went, that's way too out there. But it's pretty close. It is pretty close, it except is, they're not so eating each other. Not, <laughs> yes, yes, it is yeah. quite close. Well, I bet you at home are already making some choices. But hang on, because this Sunday night, straight after our live eviction show, we'll screen Intruders, You Decide. Now, this is a special episode of Big Brother, giving you the whole story of their time in the intruder hideout. It made the Big Big Brother house look like a Sunday school picnic. After that, you'll have just 24 hours to vote for your favourite intruders. Then on Tuesday night at 8.30 in a live special, Intruders Unleashed, we will send the intruders into the Big Brother house. Who will they be? How many will there be? Everyone is in for a surprise, especially the housemates. Their world will never be the same again. Still to come. The results. There's a ripple of excitement in the studio right now. No, Katrina's new fish has not died. We have, in fact, got our hipster housemate from last year, Todd James, with us. Welcome, Todd. <laughs> Well, Todd, yes. you're going well. Yes. And you're well. looking very, very handsome. Thank you. Tell me just the first question that pops into mind. Are you still with your girlfriend? Yes, definitely. <laughs> because this has been... That was a bizarre noise, wasn't yes. it? <laughs> this has been one of the challenging things inside the house. Sure. How difficult it is to maintain a relationship outside when you're living with 11 other people or however yeah. many may be. Were you tempted when you were in there? No, not at all. Yeah, and I'm not going to go into reasons why. That doesn't sound so good, does it? Yeah. But, um, I don't know, I think I'm just older and wiser and, you know, maybe not very smart, but wise to those sorts of things. I know what I've got and don't want to lose it, so... How hard is it... All right. Yeah. <laughs> How hard is it 
or was it watching the new housemates go into the house? Did you feel replaced? Um, I don't know about replaced. It's more of the, um, I can't watch but I can't look away sort of thing, you know. I, I knew I was going to be enthralled by it and it probably took a couple of days to get used to it. A little bit in, intrusive, you know. That was, our, that was our place. That was our house. But um, only a couple of days later and I've warmed to them straight away, so. Did it feel like the end of a chapter for you, though? And the beginning of a new one? It did. And um, luckily I got a chance to be involved in, in Series 2, so, you know, there's the new chapter and I'm, I'm so thankful to be here and, and have a chance to go out and do, you know, do the rove reporting. And I fine. know. Well, let's have a look. Where did you go rove reporting? Logie night. Yeah. Yeah, red carpet. Got to speak to almost everyone. Well, let's take a look. You must be jumping out of your pants with your Logie nomination. I just jump out of my pants all the time anyway, <laughs> Logies or otherwise. So well, who do you think might win then? I think Peter will win. I'm thinking Sarah. Um, I'm quite keen on Sarah. Yeah. I don't mean that in the sense that it probably sounds, but yes, no, I, I do <laughs> like Sarah. <laughs> You're the ladies' man, do you think you'd be sleeping with all the girls? Oh well, don't, don't, don't be sexist. Uh, they have a crack at the blokes too. In fact, they might start with the blokes. There's a whole new world on the other side, they reckon. Have you written your acceptance speech? Are you that confident? No, 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 not at all, not at all. I'm just hoping that the alcohol will do the talking well, for me. Would you do Celebrity Big Brother? I certainly would, yes. If there's a lot of rooting in it. Uh, because I think that's what the public want to see. I, I couldn't go that long without shopping. <laughs> you tell me some reasons why I wouldn't go on. I like to pee in private. I know that's crazy, even. <laughs> what would get me kicked out, I suppose, if I took all my clothes off. That would not be a pretty sight, I can tell you. See, now I don't feel so, so stupid in this suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you think Big Brother's going to win Best Reality TV program? Of course. You guys have Big Brother in the, in the States. Have you been watching that? I haven't. I don't have time. I don't have time to even watch my own show. Yeah. Really? No. You don't know how you're going on. Who's your favourite? Marty. <laughs> I have a feeling that young guy's going to win, though. The young guy who wears the little Marty. canvas hat. You're yesterday's hero, yeah, Marty. Yeah, we know that. Last year's <laughs> big series. Who's <laughs> with the rose tattoo? Yeah, yesterday. that's right. And you'd, you'd fit right in with series two because you can do a bit of a, a, a pec flex, you know, at will, can't you? You know, the surgeon said to me, once the silicon settles and the swelling subsided, they look very natural. Clearly, he was lying. Yeah, who, who don't you like? Not a fan of Nathan. Really? Why? No, it annoys me. Where are they? You evict the rats. Should be a number for the rats. <laughs> 1902, evict the rats. Oh, this year I do have a favourite in the house. It's yeah. the virgin. Oh, Khan. So Khan. I figure if you can stay a virgin for that long, you've got to have something going for you. <laughs> response to last year's housemates when they were going down the red carpet? What was my what? What was the response of the audience? Oh, they got a huge response. Yeah, crazy. Especially Blair. Blair pulled up in his Mustang and gave it a bit of a rev. Oh, gee. Is it so off? How gorgeous. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to win a Logie? Um, well, first, I should, I should thank you for being such a great co-host, I guess, to start it. <laughs> Hold um, it up to the camera. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just fantastic to be a part of a show that's won a Logie, you know. Yes. As you know. Yeah, no, I think yeah. it's terrific. So, who do you think is going to um, be evicted next? Well, next? Who would you evict? I'd probably evict Aaron. Would you? I reckon, yeah. Is yeah. that an alpha male thing? No, it's just that he's a bit of a bossy boot. You know, I don't like being told what to do all the time. And I think if he's going to keep doing that, I'd, yeah, I'd give him a few strikes. Yes, we do think yeah. of him as the food Nazi. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've heard. All right. Well, I know Todd will not be going far away, will you? Because yeah, we are getting ready to cross back to the house. Now, this is a very important time because the nominations are going to be announced and we are in for a very big surprise as other housemates. So you can throw that three thing out the window. We will see Jaws hitting the couch as Big Brother announces our new list of nominees. What cats will be set amongst the pigeons? Either. Let's cross to the house as Big Brother announces this week's nominees. This is Big Brother. This week, there are five nominations for eviction. Oh, no! 
They are Turkan, Jessica, Aaron, Alex, and Nathan. Oh my God! Wow! Crazy! Oh my God! Crazy, man! Crazy! Oh my God! Is that it? That's it. He doesn't say. It's that bloody lad. Wow! Five nominations. Turkan got 12 votes. Jessica 10. Aaron 2, Alex 2, and Nathan 2. There are going to be some shake-ups in that house. Now concentrate. To evict Turkan, call 1902-555-010. That's 1902-555-010. I'm going to do those numbers again. For Turkan, the number is 1902-555-010. 1902 <laughs> Okay, to send Jessica home, dial 1902 555 Okay, coming up is Aaron's eviction. Now, if you want Aaron out of the house, 